Oké, okay, good morning class. Sorry about the delay in start. So we are busy with data handling. You guys had, um, in your previous lesson, we spoke about the quartiles, not so? Yes. Right. We spoke about quartiles, and then you guys had homework. Correct? Yes, sir. Right, the homework was? The interquartile range, you spoke about this already. So we spoke about that, so I can delete that. Then we went on to this example I must still do. Oops, wait, 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 wait. Let me just see if I'm not. 13.6. Examples. Okay, was there any problems with 13.6? Sorry? Number three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first do this example. Is that okay? And then I will go into 13.6, number three. Does this hang on? Let me first do this example. This example on this example three, no? Or four? Three and this one page. 3.10 So it might be that what you're looking at that is a problem deals with this example. That's uh, what I want to first say. Okay. So the example uh, 3 on page uh, 310 we are asked to find the interquartile range of the data listed in the frequency table. So is the frequency table is data sorted? Yes. Okay. So for your interquartile range, how do you calculate your interquartile range? So it'll be Q3 minus Q1. Not so. How many values are there? There are 11. Not so. There are 11 entries. So which number, what is 11 divided by 2? 5.5. So what is the middle number? The sixth number. Not so. So, there are... 1 to 6 and then to 11. Eh? So the 6 number is going to be cancelled now. Not so. So what number is on, on the left of 6? 5 and the right of 6? 7. So you have 5 numbers here. Not so. So the middle number of 5 numbers is what? 3. So it's the third number. Not so. The middle number from 7 to 11. Is what? Nine. So that's seven, eight, eleven, ten. So nine is the number. So ninth number. Can you see that people? So the ninth number, so the, the ninth number, at the end of this class I've considered two people. Two entries, not so. At the end of this class I've considered? Six. So, in other words, from numbers, from person or position, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is 4, in other words. So, the lower quartile is going to be 4. Can you see that? Q1 is 4. Okay? Let's go on this side. At the end of this class, I've considered 9 for you, 9 entries. So, entries 7, 8, and 9 is 5. Can you see that? So, that's going to give you... Um, 5. And what's 5 minus? The interquartile range is 1. Okay? Otherwise, there's another way of doing it. I could have said there are 3 twos. There are 4 fours. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 5 threes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 2 sixes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 13. Yep. 2, 4, fours, 3, 5. Yeah, 3, 5. So I got 2, 3 is too many. So yes, it is 11. 
Not so bad. So, your median is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 4. Not so bad. Those are 5. That's wrong. Many things, not many things. Okay. So you. Sorry, another five. Okay. So that was your median, no? Then your lower quartile is five numbers. So that number in your middle, that is Q1. What's up? There's one, two, three, four, five. So five, this is Q3. So your interquartile range is going to be Q3 minus Q1, which is five minus four, which is what? It's an interquartile range. Do you see that, people? So just coming back to that question that you guys had that was for homework. Uh, which page were we on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. Any problems with number one? You know, actually, I felt like I cut this yesterday already, man. I'm going to check quickly in case I'm going to cut this thing now again. Finance. Okay, I probably didn't. I probably didn't save it properly, you know? Okay, so exercise uh, 3.6. Uh, Any problems with uh, number 1? 1D. 13.6. Number 1D. Okay, so let me just put this here. That one I can delete. Um, so the question, let me look at the questions. So it's exercise 13.6, uh, page 311, number 1D. Okay. So here yeah, we are told that God said four, um, each of the, for each one, find the range. So is this dot in order first? No. So let's put the dot in order first. So the biggest, the, uh, the smallest is? 46. So 0, 40. No? Then? 80 cents, 0, 80. Why am I putting this in, in the range? Because the others is in the range. Otherwise, you could have converted the range to 6. Okay. Um, 80, the next one is going to be? 96. The next one? 112 cents. The next one? 180 cents. 180 cents. Those two numbers are in the middle. Okay? 
So what do I say? 1, 12 plus 1, 80 divided by 2. 1,12 plus 1.8 divided by 2. 1 point. Gives you 1,64. Okay, you understand? Was that the problem? Remember, if it's even amount of numbers, you add it together, you divide it by two. Okay. Number three is a lower quarter. Then please take note here. There are two numbers in the middle. So what do I do? The one form part of the bottom set of the daughter, or the other one form part of the top set of the daughter. Top 50 percent, please. So there's how many values now? One, two, three, four values. So how many, how many units going to be in the middle now? Two will get. Did you see that? Those two are in the middle. So the lower quartile, 25 percent, the quartile 1, is going to be 0, 0,80 plus 0, 0,90 divided by 2. It's going to give you 0, 0,85. 85 cents or 0, 0,85 rands. For quartile 2. 3, your median is also quartile 2. For quartile 3, it's going to be 2 rand. And the four and fifteen cents that's lying in the middle. Not so. So quartile three, upper quartile, or your seventy fifth percentile. It's going to be two and plus four comma one five divided by two. Okay. So that's three rand and. Do you want to take a guess? So it's two plus four point one five divided by two. Gives us three rand and seventy. 3 then and, um, and 8 cents. 3 then and 8 cents. Why am I rounding off to two decimal places? Because I was talking about rands. Okay. Then in number 3, okay, that's number 3. Number 4 was the upper quarter. Number 5 was for the interquartile range. Interquartile range. How do you calculate the interquartile range? It's Q3 minus Q1. Which is 3,08 minus 0,85. So the range of 50% of the data is going to be 3.08 minus 0.85 gives you 2, 2,3. Okay. Okay, somebody else see they had another problem here in this exercise? Was it number two? Number three. So let's look at number three. Okay, so this is this is number three of exercise three point sixteen. Number three of exercise three point sixteen. We are told that a supermarket employers employs a sec uh, security guard to catch so shoplifters. The table shows a number of days per week over a 16 week period. 
Now the security guard has caught some one shoplifting. Okay, so it looks like this super, uh, supermarket is quite busy with the thieves. You know? As you can see, 16 entries were, were recorded. Not so. Okay, so let's see. So the first question says calculate the median. What is the median? The median is the middle number of sorted data. Not so. Is the data sorted? Yes. So here, if you read this table, there is no week that nobody was caught. No? Then that means to say there is one week that one person was caught. No? Number, number of days per week. No. Per week. So there is no weeks where nobody will caught shop before. Yeah? There is one week number of uh, days. There is one day in a week that one person was caught. No? That correct? Then there was two days in that week where five people was caught. No? No. That's not right. Let's, let's try again. Let's go here first. Number of days per week. So there's two days in that week. No. There's two days in a week. No? There was five of those weeks. Yeah, I'm not eating it. There's five days. Uh, five of such weeks where two people were scored. No? That's not right. Right. Did you read this one yet? There's no weeks of which six days people were caught. No? It's a bit confusing. Let's go again. Let's go this one here. There were four such weeks where three of the days shoplifters were Right. Does it make now sense? No. Yes. Now it makes sense to me as well. Right. So let's see what the key master asking you. They say the median. The median is the middle number of sorted data. Is our data sorted? Yes. yes. So there's no zeros. Right. There's one. One is five twos and so on. Okay, so I can do one of two ways. I can either write out the values. Or I can use the table. Which one do you want me to use? Write it up. It's easier to, to see it like that. No? So let's go. There's no zeros. There's one one. There are five twos. So I must write two five times. One, two, three, four, five. There are four threes. One, two, three, four. There are four fours. One, two, Three, four. There's one five, no sixes, and one seven. Okay. So I have answered the question. No. What is the median mark? So the median is the middle number of sorted data. There are 16 of those entries, not so. Right. So the median is going to be 16 divided by 2, which is? Eight. Is there one or two numbers in the middle? Two. Which is eight then? Nine. nine. So you come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's actually those two in the middle. Not so. So it's going to be three plus three divided by two, which is? Alright. The lower quarter. The lower quarter. So what do I do with that numbers? Do I cross both out? No. no. I draw a wedge between them. The one form part of the bottom set of data, the other one form part of the top set of data. Not so. So how many values are here? Eight numbers. So how many numbers are in the middle? Two. So for quarter uh, one, your lower quarter, your 25% up, you be one, two, three, four, and four. Not so. So it's going to be 2 plus 2 divided by 2, which is 2. 
the third one. Quote out here, upper quarter, we have seen the the same time, is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's four plus four divided by two, which is. The next question was to calculate the no, no, no interquartile range. Do they ask you for the interquartile range? Quartile uh, 3 minus quartile 1. What if they had semi interquartile range? What does semi mean? Half, no? Semi court, uh, semi final, and semi circle, and so on. No? So, uh, semi interquartile range, you work out the interquartile range, then divided by 2. I think it's coming up later. Then. Okay, so uh, what do the three quartiles tell you about the number of days per week that security got caught some shoplifting, someone shoplifting? That's now to do with the 25% and the less than 25% more than, do you remember? So in quartile one, this tells us that 25% of the time, two people or less were caught. Or, quartile one also tells us that 75% of the time, two or more people were caught. Not so? And so on and so on. Any other problems with exercise uh, 13.6? No. So now we're going to look at the box and whisker diagram. That's your new reading for today. The box and whiskers here. Box and whisker diagram. Right, here we go. We're looking at the box and whisker. We're uh, doing the examples and reading through page. 313. Alright, so here we go. We are told that in the box and whisker diagram, no? that's reading. So here we are told we can represent this thing. Yeah? We can represent the data set using a box and whisker diagram. Sometimes called a box plot. Okay? So a box plot or a box in whisker diagram is basically the same. Okay? A box in whisker diagram, that is the word, the, 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 the word, the, what's the name I use? Box in whisker diagram. Highlights the important features of the data set the median, the quartiles, and the extremes of the data set. So the box and whisker diagram consists of five numbers. Okay, it's also known as a five number summary. So the five number summary is represented by a box and whisker diagram. 
Okay. So here, yeah, to graph a box and whisker diagram, you must know the minimum value, the lower for the first quartile, the median, Q2, the upper quartile, Q3, we have the fifth percentile, we have largest or your maximum in. So write this down here, you need those five points. Your yeah, note, these five numbers are called the five number summary of the data set. Under your interquartile rate, right? you're right, this is an important value to have. Your attention, please. This is the final call for anybody who still wants to donate blood. Final call for anybody who still wants to donate blood. Can you please report to room 44 immediately? Purely Jewelry, shall we take a morning class? 